Welcome to Shopfield Music on a gear review slash unboxing Tuesday. Espresso time. Cheers. Today we're going to take this old crybaby that had a bunch of static in it and just quit working. And I think I found the problem. Let's check it out. I was saying my buddy Dave stopped by to drop this crybaby model 9591051 off. He bought this, I believe it was at the, music, the local music store here in, in town, uh, years ago and uh, finally quit working. It's kind of cool to see something old like this. He's always kept these uh, the rubber feet somewhat loose so he can get in to replace the battery. So we'll want to make sure that we give it back to him that way. I don't want him to get to a gig and I have this thing tightened down with a screwdriver. But for starters you're going to want to take the rubber feet off. Open it up. And let's go through the tools real quick while you're checking this out. You're going to need a, a Phillips screwdriver. And for this particular model, to take the potentiometer out, we're going to need a half inch wrench. Now you can see I've already been in here. I desoldered these three wires that go to the potentiometer. And uh, I was trying to fix this thing and then I thought, you know, we should probably film this. This would be good to know. I did purchase a couple of these um, potentiometers. I went with 100K. From what I could read online for a decent vintage based kind of wah, the 100K was a good, uh, good place to start. And it wasn't terribly expensive. I can't honestly remember where I picked these up at. Probably Amazon. But while I was here, he didn't have anything to hold the battery down either. So what I did was I took some of my uh, Gorilla Tape this stuff is phenomenal and uh, I put that around the battery just so it wasn't bouncing around inside the case for him and then we can just put that right back in there when we're done try not to get it stuck to itself too much definitely take the battery out of any uh, any device that you plan on soldering it's just a little bit safer that way you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver half inch wrench and of course a new potentiometer to replace the old. I'm going with Rosin Core 6040 solder. You'll also need a decent soldering gun. You don't necessarily need this apparatus. I just I do a lot of soldering for pedal boards and whatnot. So this one works handy. Uh, I got it from Stu Mac. Again Nobody's paying me for this. Nobody's paying me for any of those uh, products that I'm using. These are just things that I've found over the years that work for me. All right, let's get started. I already desoldered from here. You take your soldering iron and you heat up where the wiring connects to the potentiometer right here, okay? And then you pull that back, usually with a pair of needle nose so you don't burn your fingers. Heat that up, pull it away, okay? So my apologies, I already, I, I should have known to record everything, but I just didn't. And then you're gonna wanna loosen up this nut here with your wrench. And once it's loose enough, it should just come right out. It's pretty simple. This is an older one. I accidentally broke one of the legs off earlier while I was messing with it. And we'll take this. You can leave that like that because the new one can just roll right down. All right, so here's our new potentiometer. There is some room to move over on here. Let's see if this is gonna fit. Yeah, I think I can get that to work. Okay, so for the new one, we are actually 12 millimeters. 
for the nut. So, you know, you'll just have to take that into consideration when you're, wherever you purchase them and whoever makes them, I'm sure they're going to be a little different. Let's get on with the soldering end of things. Heat up the gun here. Okay, that looks good. Everything's, I think, going to work out nice. You see I got the zip tie down there that's going to hold this from sliding over and coming off of the potentiometer teeth here. We want that to grab. I'm going to find some dielectric grease, electrician's grease if I can, and put some of that there. Let's test it out and make sure it's going to work. Yeah, 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 yeah
So the secret ingredient for the wah, the ox. Oh my gosh. And I think this wah is a 1984, if I'm not mistaken. Here, check it out. Let me zoom in here. If you can see right down there on that sticker, upside down for you, 84. There, 1984. So I'm gonna guess that this wah is 1984. Um, after replacing the potentiometer in there, went with 100 ohm, and it sounds glorious. I love it. And I actually, I tried spraying all the connections, everything, cleaning out the new potentiometer even with the deox. I could not, I could get it to somewhat work, and then sometimes it would just kind of fizzle out and haze out. And then finally I said, enough is enough. I just sprayed the whole board with deox. Let it soak a little bit. Unplug, plug all the jacks a bunch of times. I work the potentiometer and voila. It sounds amazing. I, love I played it through this new divided by 13 CJ11 that I worked out a deal with a buddy of mine here in town. I let him borrow my dirty Shirley mini amp to play. But uh, yeah, purchased this and I traded some, well, I traded a pedal and some cash for this. He's going after the matchless reverb, and I don't want the reverb. I'm going to get all that from the pedals. So, But, yes, yeah, secret ingredient, Deox, right there. Good stuff. If you guys are ever trying to mess with some of these older pedals that have been sitting around so long, everything just gets so corroded, and that's the best thing to do right there. Played through the Friedman Vintage SHSS configuration. Killer guitar. All right, I've been John on Shopfield Music, fixing was, playing them through divided by 13 amps with a Friedman Vintage S HSS. Please, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and bell it. We need the help. Come on, we're pushing 400. Let's get 500. If you subscribe, if I can get, if I can get up to a thousand subscribers, let's say in the next two months. We'll say two months. If we can get to a thousand subscribers, I'll start doing giveaways. So stay tuned. All right. Cheers. You hear that? If we're not having fun, we're not doing it right. <laughs>